there. We are now at my daughter's soccer game, Ambrina. Just finished leaving the office where we interviewed a nice gal who is ready to meet her Mr. Right after going on tons of bad dates and feeling frustrated with the online dating scene. She's working now with me to help find her Mr. Right, so I'm excited to start working with her. And then now we're at Abrina's game to watch her play soccer, and then we're going to a huge event with almost 100 singles at our St. Patrick's Day party. Woo -woo. And we're super excited to do that and bring singles together for the first time for friendship, romance, and love. Yeah, that's going to be fun, huh? It is going to be fun. Yeah, how many people do you have coming tonight? We have think? almost 100 people coming, so oh my it's going to be a lot of people. I know some of the people that are coming, this is their first time ever coming out to an event. And um, from divorce, and we even What's got this? Some, so cute, <laughs> we even have uh, some giveaways we're doing. We're going to be handing out some gift certificates to our speed dating events, my dating classes that I teach, a comedy club, and even a massage. Oh, nice! For ladies and for guys to take care of themselves. So that's what we're going to be doing at our event tonight. I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, so, so we'll right. keep, keep you updated with our fun day. Yeah, this is going to be a great game. Yes. All right, we'll talk to you later. What's going on, honey? It's big news. <laughs> big news! Our singles event, we always need more younger women and older men. We have a high demand for young men and older women. Or there's a huge supply of younger men and older gals. Um, we just say like over 35 and below 35 and over 50 and right now on my phone I just got an email for a nice guy uh, his name is David that just bought a ticket that's over 50 and we have four tickets sold of extra women and we don't have four men so it's a pandemic <laughs> we do not want those four ladies to show or up epidemic yes the older older lady crowd yes. It's an epidemic of singles. Yes, they need older guys that are open to love and relationships that want to date women over men. Oh, that's a colorful one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Oh, so. is he curled up on he's, you? He's cold. He's cold. He's a little. Yeah. You're so funny, Dad. His name is Julio. Julio. Julio, Julio from the beach. Yeah. All right, here we are, beautiful Seattle. We've got the sunset going down. My honey, getting us to our event. Yes, yes honey. Fighting through the nonsense of people. And there's the beautiful water view. Heading into Sarajevo downtown Seattle. Excited. Another beautiful day in downtown Seattle. And here we go. Yes. Where is your green at, honey? Honey, we are having a St. Patrick's Day party. Yes. And I'm wearing blue. What? Blue. What happened? And it's a green. Who's in charge of wardrobe? St. Patrick's Day party. Who is in charge of wardrobe? I am in charge of wardrobe and you're wearing blue too. I did wear so blue too. Yeah. We're both I was blue thinking out. about wearing that horrible lime green Seattle Seahawks shirt that well, you had you me wear. You should have told me about wearing blue. Honey, I forgot. Or green. Honey, I forgot. Blue. I didn't even think about it until well, it was too late. Hopefully, so, we're pinchy, not. Pinchy, pinchy. Yeah. Pinchy, pinchy. If somebody starts pinching me, honey, we're going to have some problems. Well, we'll put up a sign. No pinching, Renessa. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So here we are. We're at the place. We're going to unload. Go. Oh wow. And then every person that matches when you want, you get a raffle ticket. And then we have prizes we're giving away. So people can feel like they've won something for all their hard work of introducing themselves to 15 new people. Because for a lot of introverts and shy people, that's a big deal for me to show them this piece of paper where they gotta go and say hello to 15 new women or 15 new men. But luckily for you, I gave you five different icebreakers, so you don't have to worry about what to talk about. We're going to fill up your conversation. We understand it can be nervous, but it's all worth it when you meet the right person. Right, honey? That's right. <laughs> That's what we're here for, to help people find love. Mwah. Activity. It was like your favorite outdoor activity. So I tried to be as 
much as specific as possible. From a catch. Okay, well, this game it came from my brain. Okay. <laughs> directions on our awesome game tonight my husband's recording me for my YouTube video for what I do all day like this is my job which I love so much so thank you guys so much for coming here tonight my name is Vanessa Rios I'm your host I'm a matchmaker dating coach and an author and I love just seeing singles find love this is a great opportunity we're in a right season of time for people to step out of the house in the office and uh, come out and make new connections, make new friendships. For those of you, how many of this is your first singles event or meetup event you've ever gone to? Awesome, woohoo! Glad that you can make it here tonight. I host 80 single events a year. So almost every single weekend I'm hosting one to two different events and out of all my events I host every week, only about 30% of the people I recognize, 70% are always new people. So that just shows you, like, out of all of these events, hi, Peter, uh, there's always, you know, I just recognized Peter, that's all I was like, oh, huh? <laughs> uh, there's always new people, people relocating, people deciding to take that step in their love life and all those things. So everybody, do you have your card out? Let's go ahead and pull, everyone pull up their card. So we have six different raffle tickets or uh, raffle prizes we're going to be giving away. I have a $70 gift card to the parlor for two people to go and enjoy comedy night, bowling, or not bowling, pool, um, or just going there and hanging out and doing a dinner and dancing. Okay? If you circle no, that means you don't get a raffle ticket. If you circle yes, that means you get a raffle ticket. And then after we play this game for the next probably about 45 minutes or so, I'm gonna go hand out raffle tickets for every one of your yeses and then we're gonna hand out prizes, okay? Now, this is a great thing. You can use this as an icebreaker. This is not mean you just ask them a quick question. What is the quality you like about yourself? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> this is not like speed dating catch and match. It's okay to ask, oh, tell me about that. What do you, why did you join that? When did you get started into that? Why do you like that about the outdoors? Or why would you move there? This is a great time to just practice those conversations and getting an opportunity to know the person you're talking to a little bit better. And you're gonna be able to have that 15 different times, okay? And then if you have a yes or a no, circle that and then you get that raffle ticket next to this. Any questions? Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna do is this way to talk to men. It is okay to go make a new guy friend, okay? I know you came here to meet the ladies, but it is okay to make a new guy friend. That's okay as well. And then what is good to do is if there's somebody that you see that you want to speak to next, just go and stand by them so that way when I say rotate, we're going to rotate around after each session or each conversation, you get that next chance, okay? All right, so our first time now, we're going to go ahead and introduce yourself to someone new now. Stay in your age group. Ladies, stay in your age group. Men, stay in your age group. And go ahead and walk right over men and speak over to one of the ladies. Men, walk over to the ladies. Good job, honey. Yes, honey.
Two more, okay. Three complimentary speed dating. There you go. There you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for our finale.